everything that left you that should not have left by the power of prophecy in the name of Jesus I call it back our esteemed viewers the message you are about to listen to is designed to revive your spiritual mind and to restore hope and intimacy with the Holy Spirit stay tuned and have a blessed moment with us and it has left a mark in my life friends there is a place of encounter greater than the realms of the anointing when you touch those realms you will not look for the anointing again it will become the natural overflow of that experience hallelujah and so the lord is bringing us to realms of intimacy Great men are product of incredible encounters, spiritual encounters that can set them on fire, encounters that can bring them to points of intimacy. And that's what the Holy Ghost wants to give us. Quickly, I want to tell you the things that we are going to be doing in Koinonia. Number one, Koinonia is an experience of intimacy with the Holy Ghost. One of the things that the Lord is going to be doing through this meeting is to bring everyone individually and corporately into a point where you can say, I know the Holy Spirit. I know Him. He's my friend. Where the realities of the Spirit, that every time you carry the Bible to read it, it will become your experience. Not just something about some people that you read, but it will be a living experience. That's what God wants to bring into our lives. So Koinonia is a place of experience. There are three things that will happen to you. The first thing is you will be with Him. Koinonia sets the platform for intimacy, even in worship. As we open up ourselves in worship. And open up ourselves to the atmosphere of heaven. There is an intercourse. There is a oneness. There is a participation that the Holy Ghost brings into our lives. The second thing that God is going to be doing in our lives is the revelation of His Word. The revelation of His principles. Hear me friends. Jesus said, Thy kingdom come. Matthew chapter 6. He says, Thy will be done. That means when we understand His will and His principles, then His kingdom can come. Hallelujah. And so God is going to be teaching us the principles. The principles of the Spirit. Hear me. We are all products. Listen please. We are all products of our environment. Our mindset is the sum total of all the orientation we've had from our experiences and from our environment. And our mindset is so important. And so there is an alignment that the Holy Ghost is going to be bringing even through Koinonia. Bringing us to a point of kingdom alignment. A man of God calls it a recalibration. Our minds will be tilted so that we begin to perceive realities from God's standpoint. It's called the mind of Christ. Philippians chapter 5, chapter 2 from verse 5. It says, let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. In other words, permit this mind to be manifest in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. There is a standpoint that we must see reality. The world has taught believers to respond to things. And when we come into Koinonia, the place of intimacy, one of the things that the Lord does is to reorient us and give us the mindset of kingdom citizens. The Bible says you will not call conspiracy what they call conspiracy. It says when men say there is a casting down, you will say there is a lifting up. Hallelujah. A redefinition of situations and circumstances. When men are swallowed up by certain things, like Job, you will say, Though he slay me, yet will I praise him. He said, I know that my redeemer is there. There is a mindset that is given to you. The mindset of a citizen that is of the kingdom. And so, you don't just praise and worship him because of results. 
or car or money or all of these things. You come to a point where you praise Him truly and you worship Him for who He is. It's the mindset of the kingdom. You come to a point where you are trained to see the unseen. The Bible says, Why we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are temporal, subject to change. But the things that are unseen are eternal. God brings our eyes into an alignment such that we begin to perceive reality from the standpoint of heaven. And when you go home and they say things are not working, you don't join the world as though you do not have a solution. You come as Moses who came out from the presence of God. And you say, I am an ambassador. I represent a government. By myself I can do nothing, but I belong to a government that is competent and able. And I have been vested with the ability to represent our government. There is a mindset. This is one of the greatest miracles that the Lord is going to be giving us. It's amazing how our mindsets can make or break us. When we have wrong mindsets, we interpret things from the wrong perspective. But the Lord through Koinonia will be bringing us to that point where we have the mind of Christ. Say after me, the mind of Christ. The thinking pattern of the kingdom. God will be helping us to learn to look up to Him alone. The Bible says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. Many of us have been trained to run after men. And so our the series of disappointments we have in our lives are endless. But the Bible says, Woe unto him who puts his strength in a man. The Lord brings you to a point where you lift up your eyes and say, Lord, unto thee I lift up my soul. A point where he becomes Alpha, Omega in your life. Hallelujah. The third thing that the Lord is going to be doing is to be exposing us to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Many of us have not had the opportunity to experience the fullness of the ministry of the Holy Spirit. At best, all we have seen is just people falling on the ground. But there is more. There is so much more. To the ministry of the Holy Spirit. The teaching ministry of the Holy Spirit. The counseling ministry of the Holy Spirit. The Lord is going to be opening us to the revelations of signs and wonders. Miracles, transformations by the power of the Spirit. Where men will come and receive a real transformation. Where sick people will come and receive real healings and deliverances. Acts chapter 10 verse 38 says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He said, and he went about doing good and healing all, not some, they that were oppressed. Why? For God was with him. That's the secret. The mystery of his divine presence. Chiefly bringing the miraculous to his people. And the Lord is going to be exposing through Koinonia the love of the Spirit. The Bible says there abided these three. Faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of all is love. The greatest motivation the human spirit needs is love. Many of us have come from terrible environments when nobody believes in you. Many of us have lived in all kinds of complex. But I welcome you to a place where God loves you the way you are. I welcome you to a place where God does not say change and come. He says come as you are and I will make you. Religion can say May, make yourself and come. But God says I accept you. It doesn't matter what you have done. Men may look down at you but I know that a great one can arise from you. Who would have known that a little fisherman will become an apostle? Who would have known that a doubting Thomas will make up the twelve that will shake the world? Koinonia. The experience of participation in the spirit and when God brings us through this school then he equips us to represent his government the end of all of these things is that we are with him so much that we become like him and then we can represent him your life is supposed to be a reflection of the kingdom you represent 
there are many believers that the only way you know they are believers is when they start praying in tongues or laying hands. If you must lay hands on somebody for the world around you to know you are a Christian, then you are not an effective Christian. The Bible says, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples when you have love one for another. There is a character. Hear me friends, your character must outweigh your anointing if you want to truly reflect the life of the kingdom. That when men look at you, there is the carriage of the presence of the Spirit. That's the first thing that attracts them to you. Not just your message, not just your power, not just your anointing, not just your prosperity, but the presence of God. How many of you have been around people and when you just come out, maybe from prayer or worship, you just sit close to them and you find out that they begin to tell you about their life. You didn't ask them any question. They begin to tell you, you know things are not working. You know why? They are responding to an atmosphere that you have created. It's like a magnetic field. They just come and sit around you and begin to talk and say, Look, I have not shared this with anybody, even my mother. But I don't know why. I don't know why. Now you know why. Koinonia. It's a product of intimacy. When you spend time with the Spirit, you don't need to spend time before the world. There is an atmosphere that you carry. And I trust that the Lord will be bringing us to that point. Hear me, friends. Prosperity, favor, miracles, all of those things are not the focus. The presence of God is. As you seek Him, you will suddenly turn back and see that all of these things are seeking you. The presence of God. That's the secret. That's the good old secret, friends. It's been the good old secret. Solomon said he will not collect the field free of charge and the Bible says he offered a thousand bond offerings and it arose as a sweet smelling sevil and that night the Lord came and said Solomon you have touched me there is something about your worship you have done something to me he didn't send an angel he came and he said Solomon what would you have me do and then he touched his heart again he didn't ask for prosperity and power he touched something in Solomon and he gave him riches, honor, fame, blessings hear me friends as we stay in the presence of God to say Lord I want to be prepared so that I can be used by you there is nothing the Lord will not give you the Lord told me something I shared it when we were having our retreat the Lord told me something he said son if you will let men see me there is nothing I will not give you if you will let men see me we are coming to a point where all of our idols and the arrogance and ministry and all of these things are built will crumble friends I cannot tell you how the senior pastor of this assembly has become such an icon of humility when people look at me and say you are humble I feel they are mocking me because when you see this servant of God the humility in his life is unbelievable and that's how you know a man who has stayed in the presence. Humility is a product of koinonia. Because when you see certain dimensions of him and see how unworthy you are in yourself, saved by the finished work of Christ, nobody will motivate you into pride. It doesn't matter what they put on the posters. And so God is bringing us to that point of intimacy. God is bringing us to that point of knowledge. Friends, that you found yourself here tonight means you are a participant of the revival that the Lord is bringing upon the earth. And you must open up your heart and say, Lord, I believe. I believe. I believe. He told Jeremiah, from when you were in your mother's womb, I called you and I ordained you to be a prophet. Hallelujah. So I welcome you to Koinonia, the place of intimacy, the place of participation, the place of partnership, where the Lord will be opening new realms and dimensions of His Spirit to us. He'll be bringing us to that point where we'll be trusted. See, the anointing you have been looking for, you will get it at a platter of gold. The presence of God and the intimacy of the Spirit will bring it for you. There are realms of power and grace and glory that many of us will step into that if you were ever told you will step into it you will not believe it but God will bring it as a byproduct of koinonia rise up on your feet
when you say, Lord, bring me to a point of intimacy above and beyond what I've known to.